Hey, what's up guys? This is part two of my toy hunt and toy haul footage. You're actually gonna see some more toy hunt stuff down in Houston, Texas in this video, as well as uh, some of the stuff that I picked up that was waiting for me when I got back here to uh, Dallas, Texas. So enjoy the video, enjoy the footage, hope you like it, and uh, here you go. All right, so we are still in Houston, Texas, and uh, it's Daddy Daughter Toy Hunt Part Two, the sequel. Yeah. This time with P Dog. Tay Tay's uh, watching her friends compete at gymnastics. By the way, update on Tay Tay. She was down here for the state championships, and uh, she is the current second place holder. She, she won second place overall out of about 50 kids. Uh, but she is the state champion for Beam. But she's watching her friends now, cheering them on, and we are gonna hit a couple Walmarts. So uh, let's go, let's see what they got. Still looking for regular Stinger? What the heck is that? He's a wrestler. What are you looking for, girlfriend? Fidgets and Barbies. Fidgets, Barbies. Let's see what they got. All right, here we go. Looks like the same, oh, they got this guy. They got Gnaw, two Gnaws. Jolt. I just got hit in the foot with a volleyball. Wow. Here's some Joes. Same Joes as we got up north. Same Legends as we got up north. Who's that in the back? More one. Uh, let's see. Got a couple of these guys. Shriek Unmasked. Here's that Batman. Cape season. Capes everywhere. Capes nationwide. Capes worldwide. All right, wrestlers. Who do we got? AE Dub style. Santana Ortiz, Inner Circle versions. Scorp, Frankie. Up top. Who do we got up top? Some overload. AE Dub ring. Turtles for days. Um, Rock the Dwayne. Roman Hardy. Looks like. Uh, Kind of the same old, same old guys. Minus a child bouncing a ball at me, <laughs> hitting me in the shoulder. <laughs> what do we got if you're a penguin? It's penguin. It's just a bunch of glare for you guys. Um, Tis about it for this section. I'm gonna go check the neck of stuff. I'm gonna check the cards, because I know a lot of you guys collect cards, so why not? Why not show that stuff? I'm just taking one more peek, make sure I didn't forget anything, didn't miss anything. Batman, oh, I can see if they have the Catwoman. This guy's cool looking, I gotta say, this guy's really cool looking. Uh, who's that? And <clears throat> I'm still looking for the unmasked Catwoman. I know that she can be found on Amazon right now. Kinda wanna find her out in the wild, Just just for the hell of it. I don't know, just to say that I found it. But, yeah, it looks like they don't have her here. Who's that in the back? I saw Superman. I think it's Superboy Prime. And there's animated Superman, the black suit one. All right, guys, let's go check NECA. Here's what P-Dog's working with. Fidgets for days. Oh Fidget Central. What is that? It's a pocket spinner. Do you not have one of those? No. Tate stole mine. She stole it? Yeah. All right, we'll get you one. <laughs> we'll write your name on it. Mine. There it is. Here it is. And... Usual suspects, guys. <clears throat> kind of the same thing. R.E.M.'s playing. Definitely gonna have to avoid that. So, here's a quick gander. And what they got. All right, so this was kind of the only thing that I saw in the collector cool. section. This is awesome. The Suicide Squad collector's box. Ghostbusters is playing really loud right now. Like super loud. You get a pint glass with all those cool little um, art pictures of the heads. Duffel bag, lapel pin, postcards, and art print. I wonder how much it is. I'm gonna scan it and see how much it is. All right, all done at the first Walmart. That Suicide Squad pack uh, was 25 bucks, passed on it. We're gonna go to the next Walmart. Before that, we're gonna need some Starbucks. Starbucks, 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 Starbucks. 
Beautiful. I just got copyright claimed. All right, we're at Target. Cross my fingers. They got some cool. The balls are not red. Oh, they're not red. They're white. You can see it in the reflection. Okay. Hall thong. Let's go. How does that song go? What? How does it go? Sing We're it again. We're going to the toy section. Toy section. We're going to the toy section. Toy section. I like that song. Oh, I didn't know there's a second verse. Yeah. All right. Well, this toy section is laid out differently than I've ever seen. Legos in the front. Transformers. The Batman's. Let's see if we got an unmasked Catwoman in there somewhere. Nope. We got uh, Yojo. We got Marvel Legends. Let's see if they're all hammerheads. Holy frick. Holy frick. Hammerhead overload. Let's see if we got any uh, AE dub skis. Uh, where's the wrestling stuff? Am I in the wrong aisle? It's like a treasure hunt here. No. Where the frick are the wrestling figures? Did I miss? Oh, I was right in front of them. So stupid. So stupid. So we got some uh, unmatched. There's a MJF. Make sure there's no chase keys. Another MJF. No chase keys. Who's this? Another Ortiz. <clears throat> uh, we got Mandy Rose. Inaccurate now that she's dark haired. She dyed her hair. Or if she went back to a regular color. Whatever. No one cares. No one cares. Who cares? Who cares? Beef up Brady. I don't see any holophone stuff, guys. There's a swamp thing. Coronation. Cliff Jumper got him. Oh wow, they got the legacy figures out. Legacy Blaster. There's the new packaging, guys. Uh, no plastic window? That's strange. Uh, but that appears to be the only legacy figure that they have, but new packaging um, What do we got here? Mustafa Ali reckoning both not in the WWE anymore gone gone AEW now pretty much this entire display is gone gone I Think he left all right, I'm gonna look for Hall of Fun stuff. I don't see anything. All right, we're gonna check the regular neck section. It is very loud over here. Yeah. Oh, they just cut the... Oh, look at Ron Weasley. Quidditch supplies. They have no Hall of Fun stuff. I don't see a single thing. They got this guy. He's new. Sure. He's pretty cool. Gotta say, he looks very cool. I do believe I have found the remnants of the Holothon. They got Griff. I have one on the way already, but I want to look at him in person. I don't like them. He looks amazing. He looks scary. Amazing. Didn't you really look at this? Where's the pit bull? There it is. The pit bull. So Didn't you really look at that? Yeah, I got this one yesterday. Oh. I am looking Metal for these guys here, but they're nowhere to be found. That's sad. Uh, they have Goliath. Oh, Metalhead. They do not have Muckman. What the heck is Muckman? This guy's so cool. I'm so happy I got him. His foot's uh, separated though. Dead. What in the heck? What? His foot's missing. Oh, his it foot broke. is dead. It literally broke. That's sad. I don't want to check mine, make sure mine's not broken. This is so cool though. They have Thalog, Goliath, Metalhead, Metalhead. But that's it guys. That is it. Oh, is this the thing that Tay Tay's been looking for? Yes. Oh my lord. Can I get it? Can I get it, please? I should send a picture to Tay Tay. She's going to freak out. So we got some hockey here, too. Daddy, the oh, reason no, so smell Can I please get them? 
Well, yeah, let's figure out how much they are first. Okay, we do have a haul here. Uh, no figures. If I did not have a griff on the way, courtesy of Joey out in California, uh, I would have bought the griff, but uh, I have one on the way, so I didn't pick it up. But look what I found. Some new hockey cards, 21, 22, upper deck. I always buy upper deck. Series one, obviously I'm gonna go for the Zegris rookie. I'm going for the Cole Caulfield. I already have Tanner Janot. Uh, those are the two that I want, Caulfield and Zegris. Crossing and my fingers. What? And guess what? Help me. Um <laughs> Squishmallow All right, so Tay Tay has been looking for these things everywhere. There's Squishmallow tins, there's cards, and a little miniature limited edition Squishmallow inside. This is the one that she's been looking for specifically. It's Bigfoot. When we first got to this section and we found them, first of all, we were surprised we even found them because they're sold out everywhere. Second, I texted her and she said, do they have Bigfoot? And I looked and upon initial uh, look, I did not see one, so I said, sorry, there is not one, and she was a little upset. Then this little girl back here moved some stuff around, looked towards the back, and we found the Bigfoot. So she has no idea, Tete has no idea that we found this. Uh, we're not going to tell her, it's going to be a total surprise. Uh, so we got that one, and then uh, P-Dog wanted this one for herself, it's an axolotl, it's a little sea creature. So we got this one right here. These are 25 bucks each, kind of pricey. There you go, there's the haul. Uh, we're gonna probably try and hit another target because we have at least another hour and a half, maybe two hours to kill. So gonna hit another target, see if they got uh, that turtle four pack. I'm going back and forth, I'll tell you guys right now. I'm going back and forth because I saw, I went to Bedrock City Comic Books. Didn't film anything because this thing was dead. My phone was completely dead by the time I got there because I was filming stuff at the gymnastics thing. So I didn't film anything, but they had a quarter scale NECA Donatello. I don't have any quarter scale turtles. I have no quarter scale turtles. I have the quarter scale Batman, I love it. But I saw this thing. You need the turtle. This Donatello looked amazing. It was $125. So I'm kind of going back and forth between getting all four quarter scale NECA turtles or just the four pack of the seven inch scale. I'm leaning towards the quarter scale. Obviously, quarter scale turtles, four of them is $500 total. Oh. If I get the four pack, that's part of this holothon thing, it's 150. So, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the next Target. Bye. Bye. All right, we're back at the uh, other Target that we went to already, and no turtles. So, they got the uh, Evil Dead still. They got the same ones as yesterday. So, no dice, guys, no dice. Go ahead, do it. Terrible. <laughs> no, Rejected. The Kami Mutombo just blocked you. Terrible. Oh. How do I get it in? Um, I don't know. How'd you get it out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me do it. You're going to hit someone. All right, so yeah, they got uh, Chrome Dome. They got Frogs and Wing Nut and Screw Loose. Don't hang on my back. My knees are going to explode. Jeez Louise. This kid just tried to jump on my back. There's a chase right there, unmasked. All right, so one more look at this look, man. I think it looks pretty cool. Very green, super green. Look at how green he is. And then you got this guy. I gotta say I'm kind of tempted. And yes, this is black and white. I don't think they have a color version yet. I think they're all black and white. Got the child on my back again. Yeah. And I'm squatted down, so let's... <laughs> now she's choking me. She's choking me. Okay, so I missed the whole uh, surprise thing, but here is the Bigfoot. Uh, what are these things called? Squishmallow? Squishmallow. So cute! And uh, apparently that thing sells for $50. On eBay! On eBay. And I'm State Champion on one first time. Yeah. I already talked about that in this video, but nice, nice flex. flex. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're heading back to Dallas now, uh, and uh, I'll see you guys at the Nerd Bar. Bye-bye. Bye! Bye! Bye. Hey guys, welcome to part two of the big ass toy haul. All right, so this is all the stuff that I got down in Houston. So we're gonna start with this guy, pizza, good old pizza monster. And thankfully, my feet are attached. I have seen at least three in the wild, in different cities, in different stores, where one of the feet, this foot right here, is completely broken off and snapped off and sometimes up by his damn head. So just be aware, if you see this guy on the shelves, pop him open, make sure his feet are not broken. But he looks amazing. He looks freaking awesome. 
I went to Bedrock City Comics. So first of all, I want to thank all of you. I posted on, uh, I think it was Facebook, any recommendations for different stores in Katy, Texas? Because that's where we were. We were down in Katy, Texas for the state championships for gymnastics. And um, a lot of people recommended Bedrock City Comics, which I'd never heard of and I've never been to before. And everything I got here is from the 80s. So we're gonna start here with this one right here, which you may have seen a post of this comic book on Instagram or Facebook. And what is the significance of this book? It's X-Men, Uncanny X-Men number 144. It's got Man-Thing in it. But the cool thing about this is this one was actually published, if you could see the year, in 1981. And if you open the book up and you see what month it was published, April of 1981. That's the year my wife was born. So this comic book was born or published the same month and year that Mrs. Cincy, AKA, as some of you might know her, Christina, real name drop, bam, uh, that's when she was born, April of 1981. So I own this comic book, which is as old as her. So I thought that that was just really freaking cool. Hopefully she's not mad at me for giving her age away, uh, but she looks great for her age. I got Uncanny X-Men number 159. Again, you'll see an ongoing theme here. I am trying to complete a run of Uncanny X-Men. Uncanny X-Men number 161. There's a cool cover, Magneto and Xavier. Uh, this one is very, very cool because it, uh, the art is one of my favorite artists of all time, Paul Smith. Uh, I just think his art is so freaking beautiful. X-Men number 165, Storm turning into a brood. So freaking cool. Brings back so many memories. Uh, X-Men number 170, another one in the Paul Smith run. Uh, Storm versus Callisto there. I think that's Callisto. And then finally, I think this is John Romita Jr. did this cover. X-Men number 182. A very early one where uh, Rogue was in the X-Men right there. So We went to Five Below because my girls love going to Five Below. They like getting their fidgets there. A lot of great stuff there, but I found this there. And I know that Five Belows are not really consistent with what they have in their uh, inventory. But if they have this at your Five Below, I would get it because it's a good ass deal. This is a hardcover trade. Hardcover trade, uh, Thor, God of Thunder. It's part of the Jason Aaron run, The Accursed. And it reprints issues uh, 12 through 18 of Thor, God of Thunder. Five bucks, five dollars for this badass hardcover graphic novel. So go get it. All right, I came back home to several packages. So I'm gonna show you all the packages that I received while I was gone. This one right here, I think this is from GameStop. I love the movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Everyone I know that has purchased this version from this company raves about it. Absolutely raves about it, no complaints whatsoever. So I saw that GameStop had it, I jumped on it and I was able to get it. Uh, but it's the Miles Morales by Sentinel. I need to wait for Peter B. Because I was actually able to order a Peter B. Parker Sentinel figure from Entertainment Earth. This is an Amazon box. I completely forgot what's in here. So we're going to just go ahead and open it. Something cool. Marvel Legends. Feels like it's been a little while since I got some Marvel Legends. But uh, this one, let me take a look at it. Ah, oh, that looks freaking good. Bucky, good old Winter Soldier. So when he was brainwashed and he was, uh, you know, doing stuff, being a bad guy, here's his figure. And I think it looks much, much better. Let me take a look at that head sculpt. I love the, the head sculpt with the mask on. That looks so freaking cool. But there you go, he comes with gun skis. He's not a DC figure. So he comes with some gun skis, bam, bam, bam. That'll go directly on my MCU shelf. All right, what is this? This is from Joey. If you watch Seha Man on YouTube, Raphael on Seha Man sometimes talks about his friend Joey. This is the same guy. So this is Joey out in California. He reached out to me. He was doing some hunting for Holothon. I was worried I was not gonna find this guy, but Joey had picked this one up for me. Very, very happy that he did so. I didn't have to worry about it anymore, but I really, really wanted this guy when I saw that he was gonna be made available. Frickin' loved Back to the Future 2. Joey was uh, able to pick up this badass looking Griff. So I got Griff 
from Back to the Future 2. Try not to show the ring light there. There he is. Good old Griff with the pit bull hoverboard. That big ass bat. This looks freaking sweet. Big shout out to Joey. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. And uh, check out Seha Man. He's one of my favorite uh, YouTube creators. Uh, he's one of the first guys that I started watching on YouTube that was doing toy hunting. Him, P2, and uh, Shardimus. Those are like the three guys that I kind of inspired me to start my own channel. So definitely check out Seha Man. Good guy. Very good guy. This next one right here is from Andre, better known as Dre. He is on The Nerd Dungeon, another YouTube channel. Check out that channel, The Nerd Dungeon. Uh, Dre said he actually found a couple of these in his stores. I have never, ever seen this one in my stores. So uh, he offered to pick it up for me. I bought it from him, PayPal'd him. Very, very happy to get this one finally. He looks freaking sweet. Freaking sweet. It's the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man from Retro Spider-Man line. Again, this is the first time I've ever seen this physically in hand. Never saw this in my stores at all. All right, the same day that Joey and Andre reached out to me, I actually saw this one go up on Target's website and uh, I picked it up from Target's website and uh, it finally got here. So hell freaking yes. I'm a big, big fan of the Eastman and Laird's Mirage Studios Ninja Turtles comic book line. And this guy right here is from the comic book line. He also had his own number one issue. His name is Fugitoid. So got the Fugitoid. Holothon, it's got the cool title font down there that looks like Eastman and Laird's Mirage Studios. Very freaking sweet, very cool. There's the back of the box right there. So freaking awesome. And then Target was very nice to send me this free swag bag as well, this Holothon swag bag. I have no idea what's in here. It says there's stuff in here. I'll open this off camera and find out what's in here, but very, very cool. Thank you, Target, you didn't have to do that. I guess that's what I get for paying for shipping. Last item in this glorious toy haul, uh, but I had another guy reach out to me, Michael Taylor. He uh, asked if I was interested in this figure. I think I'm going to do a display with the Pattinson Batman, with the Christian Bale Batman, probably from Batman Begins, because I just like that outfit more, even though it's more restrictive and he can't turn his head. And I'm gonna put this one in there as well. Bam. Batfleck. Batfleck, Battinson, and Batbale. I'm gonna do those three Batman. If they do a Keaton, if they redo a Keaton, I'm probably down for that as well. I don't know about the Kilmer Batman. And I definitely don't know if they do a George Clooney Batman, if I would get that one. So I'm gonna do a little Batman display with the different Bat actors. And I think it's gonna look bat ass. So that's the whole guys. Thanks for watching. This was part two of the big ass toy hunt toy haul. Part three is the final part in this three part series. Uh, it involves me finding perhaps another chase figure. It involves uh, kind of a big ass toy haul. So make sure you watch that one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. But I'll see you guys in the next video and have fun collecting.